Humans are makers. We can take dead things, a pen, a brush, some scraps of paper, and turn it into art. But art takes work, craft, and art forms find their makers as much as their makers find them. Why does that happen? What really goes into making art? That's what this show is about. We tell the stories of ordinary people and the hard work of their extraordinary art. I'm Kevin Elliott, and this is Craft. I like Garfield. Uh, it was clean, it was easy, lasagna, hate Mondays. That and every kid wanted to be Walt Disney. So uh, those were two major influences early on. Then I discovered comic books. And so, I mean, it just kept going from there. I don't care who you are. Comics are cool. Comic illustrations are a unique art form full of color and action and made up words. Even if you aren't an avid fan, it's hard not to admire them. This is Jason Kretzer, and he is a comic book illustrator. He's one of the happiest, bubbliest guys you'll meet. But behind the smiles is an iron will and determination to live a creative life, despite the odds. He has created multiple original comic series, graphic novels, and trading card illustrations for some of the biggest names in the business. But like many comic book heroes, Jason comes from humble beginnings. I was the last one to be able to draw. Like, so my other friends would draw these cool comics, Ram Mouse, like a cool mouse with like a bandana on, mounted after Rambo. And I wanted to draw and I could not do it. So what do you do if you want to be an illustrator but can't draw? Well, most people quit but Jason's focus and commitment outweighed his shortcomings. To immediately join in the group, I created a character that I could draw, and it was a leech. I called him China Leech, because at the time there was a series on TV called China Beach. So um, I started drawing China Leech, and he had a little machine gun, no arms, it just kind of stuck to the side of him. <laughs> And I joined the group and we were doing comics and it was fantastic. And as we progressed, I was the one that really kept on, kept on uh, drawing and uh, I, I just never gave up on it. I never gave up on it. You hear that a lot when you talk with Jason. Every comic book hero has an origin story. They also have people who enter the story at pivotal moments to save the hero, offer a bit of crucial wisdom, or just provide encouragement to a kid who wants to draw. All my role models were women. Growing up, um, my mother was a single mother for a while, and uh, she did everything to make sure I could do whatever I wanted. If I needed to draw or, you know, she would make sure that I had the time to do that kind of stuff. She was very supportive. My wife, uh, it's just, it's really been a, an amazing uh, lineage of women that have influenced me in my art. Of all the women who cared for and influenced Jason, his grandmother stands out. She was there at the very beginning of his origin story. You know, my, my grandmother, who probably is my biggest influence on my life. Uh, she was a, an artist, a beautician, a registered nurse. She did everything, and so I always, I just always looked up to her. She took me in a grocery store one day, and she bought me my first comic. And I was looking at it, I was looking at it on the rack, and she's like, do you want that? So I was like, uh, yeah. And she bought it for me, Spider-Man Wolverine, I still have it. And I went home because I was staying with her and I read that thing probably 25 times in the next two days. And I became a comic book illustrator then. <laughs> Long before I ever got paid to do it. And so that was, that was where it started. It's important to believe you are what you want to be. 
But Jason found that it is just as important to tell others. Speaking your dream out loud can actually help it come true. A lot of times people would be like, what are you doing? What do you do? And I'd be like, eh, I'm a comic book illustrator. And they would be like, oh, that's so cool. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty cool. But then we'd go home and my wife would be like, why do you, why do you always tell people you're a comic book illustrator when you're a graphic designer? And my wife is always a huge supporter, but she just, it, it, it was comical to her because she's like, you're telling the people something that you do in a fraction of your time that makes very tiny money for you. I was like, yeah, but that is who I am. And eventually what would happen is people would be like, oh yeah, my friend Pat told me you're a great comic book illustrator. I want to talk to you about this job. Say it and be it. I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, good advice, but it worked for me. So. so Jason did it. He was a professional illustrator. But in the comics, our hero is nothing without his villain. For Jason, that bad guy is a nagging fear that he is not good enough for his dream. The fear tells him that he is, in fact, still that little kid who can't draw. The main character in my modern fantasy is uh, a guy that was possessed as a kid, and when they pulled the demon out, it left a fragment inside of him. Uh, and that demon talks to him and is very mean to him, uh, which is representative of my inner sensor that I think most artists have. There's this thing inside of you that tells you you're not good enough, and you know it stops you from doing a lot of things, and fear has definitely played a big role in my life, and I fight it at every turn. You never completely overcome that feeling of being a fraud. I hear the biggest names, the people that I look up to, that feel like they're a fraud. Um, so yeah, I think it's one of those things that is a constant battle. Some days you're gonna lose it, unfortunately, and uh, just, you have to win it more than you lose it. Luckily, Jason has won enough battles to create some extraordinary comics. One of his signatures is an unlikely group called the Wannabe Heroes. I mean, they're basically losers, for lack of a better word, but they find a way, they develop these wacky powers, they stick together, um, and they become heroes. I wanted to take that word want to be and change it because I think everybody should want to be something, right? You're not just, you know, when people call somebody want to be, I'm like, yeah, of course. I mean, we all want to be something. Why? How is that derogatory? As usual, Jason took a negative idea, his own anxieties, and turned it into an affirming one by literally drawing on the people he loves. There's bits and pieces of everybody I know. Um, obviously, while, I, while my grandmother's uh, abilities flow through Lizzie, Lizzie also is a lot like my wife. The main guy, based a lot after me, is an illustrator. Uh, this gamer guy, he's a video gamer, obviously. But what I find is neat is though each one of them has pieces of other people in them, each one of them has a piece of me. It's my grandmother, my cat. They both find ways into all my stories that I do. So there's our story. The story of a guy with big dreams from a small town. You may have read stories like that before in comic books, but Jason Kretzer is living it for real. Because he was the most talented? Nope. It's about perseverance and passion way more than it's about talent, in my opinion. Um, and, and I'm living proof of it. Because I did not have illustration talent. It is definitely something I had to earn. You have something in you that the world might be interested in. They will appreciate you sharing what you have with them. And, and I, I just think that you'll be so much more fuller, happier. You'll live a whole life by sharing what you have inside with the rest of the world.